Yasmani Grandel Getty Images Los Angeles, Yasmani Grandel's warts have resurfaced at the worst possible time for himself and the Dodgers. A free agent after this season who could attract attention from the Mets, among others, the veteran catcher was on the bench for Game 4 of the NLCS at Dodger Stadium on Tuesday following a night in which his recent struggles were magnified. During the Dodgers' 4-0 Game 3 loss to the Brewers, Grandel heard boos on a night he struck out twice with runners on base and was charged with his third passed ball in the series. He also committed two errors in Game 1 with Clayton Kershaw on the mound, contributing to the left-hander's miserable night against the Brewers. Grindle entered play batting .136 this postseason with 10 strikeouts and 22 at-bats. For his career in the postseason he was batting .103 with 30 strikeouts and 68 at-bats. At any point one swing can change a game, Grandel said. I also play a big part in the preparation and the scouting report that goes into the game when I'm not starting. So if they have the confidence in me to do that, then I'm pretty sure they have the confidence in me behind the plate. The Mets are in the middle of a general manager's search and really won't forge an off-season plan until that new hire is in place. But an upgraded catcher will be high on the priority list, and Grandel joins Wilson Ramos and Jonathan Lucroy among the free agent possibilities. As much as the Mets would like a catcher who can contribute offensively, a team whose success next year likely will be predicated upon starting pitching may opt for a defensive presence first and foremost. Grandel, who turns 30 next month, is generally well regarded for his handling of a pitching staff, but he's also led the National League in past balls in two of the past three seasons. Offensively, his .815 ops this season was plenty acceptable. The Mets have catchers Travis Darno, Kevin Plowacki and Tomas Nito still under club control as veteran Devin Mezzarocco heads to free agency. Among the decisions the Mets face is whether they should tender a contract to Darno, who missed most of the season after undergoing Tommy John surgery. The Mets must also decide if Plowacki fits as a potential backup should they add a catcher or if they can find value for him on the trade market. The Dodgers started Austin Barnes behind the plate with Rich Hill on the mound for Game 4. It's the same Barnes for whom fans were chanting a night earlier as Grandel was struggling. Here at home you are doing your best and to get food is tough, Dodgers manager Dave Roberts said. I know Yasmani is trying and he prepares and it doesn't feel good to get booed, but he's going to go out there and prepare again, Grandel might want to get used to the occasional booing if the Mets are going to become a potential destination for him, thin skin doesn't play well in New York. What I see is overall pretty good, Grandel said, when asked about his play. I don't really hear the voices outside. I value my opinion way over everybody else. That is what keeps me sane.